Hey, church, welcome to our second glance for this week. Um, and we started this new series on discipleship, which means to follow or to be a learner. Um, and so in our context, it, we're following and we're being learners from Jesus. We talked about the master-student uh, relationship this morning. Um, I want to hit on uh, maybe a familiar passage that's troubling, that, that talks about discipleship, and that's in Luke 14, uh, verse 26. And it really hits on the cost of discipleship. Let me read it to you first, and then uh, I think you'll see the speed bumps I'm talking about. So this is, this is what Jesus is, is telling his disciples. Uh, now great crowds accompanied, accompanied him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Now, uh, that word hate. I don't like it. <laughs> so I went to the original Greek, and I'm like, okay, maybe we've mistranslated this. Nope. That word means hate. Hate is, is, is exactly what Jesus is saying. But he's not necessarily saying, okay, you, you got to hate your father. You got to hate your wife, your kids. Because next week, we're going to talk about how to make disciples out of our family. What Jesus is saying here isn't hate the person who is your father. Uh, but he's, he's essentially alluding to what makes you you? What makes up your identity? Um, for the Jews at the time, their identity was a great, greatly influenced by who was their father, who was their father's father. In other words, what was your family lineage? Obviously, you had to trace yourself back to Abraham. Um, but even in that, what tribe were you from? And so many times your identity was based on what lineage you came from, what tribe you came from, what did your dad do, what, how much land did he have, um, who are your children, your, your identity was shaped on all of these things that you have either inherited or that you have built. And when Jesus says, you can't come to me unless you hate your father, your mother, your wife, and your kids, he's not saying actually hate them. What he's saying is, if you want to have a relationship with the Father through Jesus, if you want to be a follower of Jesus, you need to build your identity on that. Identity is now, I am a follower of Jesus. He is my Lord, and I am his servant. And so the language is strong because what Jesus wants us to do is he wants our lives to be transformed. He wants them to be changed. And, and it's not, I'm going to add discipleship to who I am. But following Jesus and being a disciple of Jesus is a radical change from the inside out. Where we're now saying how I talk, how I think, how I walk. It is all going to be based on the, 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 the pattern and the model of who Jesus is. My full identity is going to be based on who Jesus is and my life in him. No longer who my father was, no longer who my great-grandfather was, no, no longer the status of my family, but my identity is solely based on my relationship and my walk with Jesus Christ. Uh, so when we see this text, uh, that speed bump should remind us that Jesus is asking us to live a radically different identity, not one based on anything that we can construct, but one based solely on following him. Then we build our relationships with our parents and our children and our spouse around that new identity, which is a follower, a disciple of Jesus Christ. So I hope that brings some clarity to the text and uh, the study guide's got some questions that maybe we can further this discussion.